What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a quick look as to what is coming Monday. We do this every Sunday evening so if you have not yet spun for Kaka and Iniesta this is going to be your last chance to spin for them unless they re-release them. We know now that the showtime, the highlight and the player of the weeks are always going to be coming out on the Thursday and then you've got a selection here and usually the epics and the boosters that are going to be coming here. Now we already know that um, Iniesta and Kaka have been really good. Schneider's probably the pick of the pack in terms of just pure stats, but we didn't spin for him. We had 80 players left on the spin. We did get Iniesta and Kaka in the rest of the spins in like what? 90 spins um, or 70 spins, but um, my math was way off there. 70 spins, we got him. So it was seven boxes of 10. We got the two boys, right? But I do want to say that I do feel there are going to be better cards coming, especially over with the Euros. And we know as well that this Thursday, we're going to do a video on that, obviously, on Wednesday. And we'll talk about it on the live stream tomorrow. We will be getting new nominating contracts. And this is ongoing for another 10 days. So we still have our login bonus. We still have the campaigns. And of course, we still have the login uh, for the daily game as well as you see here, right? So that's going to be ongoing all the time um that you see there right for this just with the penalties i don't know are they going to add new players to this but it does remain to be seen whether or not they'll do that we can we have a this completely cleared here now again with another lap that's going to be six spaces there we get our gold space reached and we're now onto the lap where i think we're going to be getting skill trainers yeah so we're on to lap 27 there but we do know what players are going to be coming as well so these have been updated in the database you've got a european national team selection um that you see here well it's not just european because you've got a couple of the players that here as well but these are the players that are going to be coming and that means that if you are going to be going for these cards here as you see here we are also going to be replacing those cards um, that you see here with the Iniesta one. So Iniesta and all those, make sure you claim all of your build and all of your inboxes here. You still have a couple of login bonuses or anything like that. All of this on Thursday is going to be uh, replenished. So there's going to be a brand new campaign kicking off, which is going to tie into the Euros, right? And because of that, we do know what three legends we're going to be getting in the Euros as well. It looks like we're going to be getting Ribery. It looks like we're going to be getting Fernando Torres. And it looks like we're going to be getting Diego Forlan. So this image here is a mock-up Forlan, Torres and Ribery. And these are their stats, right? I'm not going to spend too long talking about this, lads. It's the same. You know everything on these videos. You have got Forlan here. Forlan is going to probably be the pick of the pack in terms of his shooting. You know, obviously, we're not taking into the consideration the booster here. But he looks like he could be fairly tasty. And I do like this Forlan card, especially if he has 27, 28 levels or more as a deep line forward. It's going to be very, very nice. Forlan is, you know what you're going to be getting with him, especially here with Torres. Torres' card, I think the big thing with Torres' card is going to be his balance. If he has 34 levels and you pop 15 into that, you probably will get everything that where you want it to go, but his dribbling is going to be the killer. Even with 15 into dribbling, this Torres is not going to be it for run and gun. Now, will you be able to still bang goals in with Torres? Yes. In similar ways, you're able to use, you know, Dennis Law and players like that. But I still think that there is a little bit of a disconnect between the likes of Romario, Michael Owen, David Villa, Saviola. Those type of cards still are in a tier of their own if you're going for meta, high win streak gameplays or push and rank, right? Ribery, we already have Ribery and Forlan, other versions of those cards. But this Ribery looks very, very interesting as well if you look here with 34 levels, right? Now, if you look here at our card here... We already have Ribery and Forlan in our pack. I'm not too sure do I have them on the bench here, um, but we do have them in our squad here. And Forlan is actually quite a decent card, this card here when he's in the squad, right? If I bring Forlan in here with the boost that you're getting off Xabi Alonso, that's nothing to be sneezed at, lads. That is a phenomenal card that you have there. So will it be worth spinning if you already have a version of him? It's, it's doubtful. I mean, all of these cards that you see here, you can only play 11 with a couple of subs at any given time. So all of these cards are being remaining on the bench for me, you know, and I haven't even trained up a lot of these back because I'm waiting for the big gameplay update. But I definitely think Forlan could be interesting if you want to go for him. But let me know what you guys think with the cards at the moment. That is it. Of course, we're going to have our events as well. That's going to be uh, reappearing and we're going to get new events and stuff like that. Um, because they always only run these events now for a, a limited period. And you can see here that the team play, the co-op, always ends on Monday. So you have it for the weekend and then it's gone. And then also with this as well, with the Dream Team teamed event, that always goes as well online. As for everything else, it is rinse and repeat. You are going to get the two Spanish clubs gone, so there'll be a new club and that makes sense, or a new team to base it on. So let me know what you guys think. I will talk to you in a little bit. Hope to see you in the live stream tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll talk to you then.